Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 4. Uh, and now my editing software went down because my computer crashed, so I'll try to... I have to do this video without editing, so I'll try to not stammer too much. This episode, um... <laughs> sitting here watching it and getting through the first, you know, 20 minutes and it's kind of just like, alright, you know, another episode, whatever. And then, you know, the alarm gets tripped and there's some zombie action. It's like, alright, some zombie action. But, I mean, holy shit. I... Did not. I did not see... Any of that stuff coming for this episode. The stuff that happened in this episode doesn't happen in episode 4 of your 13 episode season. So, it really blindsided me and... You gotta give them, you know, you gotta give the writers props for, and, you know, for having the guts to do what they did, uh, especially with the end of the episode. Uh, it was just, it was just really surprising. It was emotionally effective. It was just, it was upsetting. It was gross. And, you know, it had that level of despair that the show needs. And... Yeah, it was just really, really well done and acted and just... It really was great, the last part of it. It really was. And, it, and before, I guess, I get into everything about it, first, let me get away the one thing in this episode that was not good. Not that it was bad, but everything with Andrea, the governor, Michonne, and Merle just felt very out of place and very... I know it was obviously the B storyline of the episode, but the stuff that went on in the prison, the A storyline of the episode, was so, you know, dramatic and so, you know, emotionally heavy that the stuff on the other side just felt kind of like, you know, why is this even a part of the episode? Um, so much so, if you're going to have that much drama on one side, you should just leave the other side out of it. Because what, what did we learn? We learned that, what, the governor, you know, manipulates... Andrea and Merle and everyone else. Like, we learned that last week. We didn't really learn anything. Uh, we see that the governor, okay, he's manipulating Merle to get more information out of Andrea, and then he says he'll go with them. Which obviously is eventually going to lead to our characters meeting together. But we knew that was going to happen anyway. It's just, I don't know. It just, maybe just because of the episode, it felt, it just didn't feel right. And the whole, you know, Michonne you know, knowing that the governor sucks, basically, and Andrea not knowing it, it, um, that can get tired very fast, and I hope that doesn't stay that way. And I'm, I'm already kind of, kind of tired of, uh, of Michonne just glaring at her sword or just walking around looking pissed off. It's just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really digging... Uh, their side of things. I know it's only two episodes for them, for, especially for the Governor and Merle stuff. Uh, I'm not saying that the Governor and Merle are fine, and, you know, I don't know. It's just... It threw me off in this episode. I guess I'll just leave it at that and just save it for another episode to really talk about it. Because the stuff in the prison this episode, like I said, things are just moving along, and um, good call on the writers on... We thought that Rick just let that guy die in the second episode. And then, as it turns out, he's the one that lets everyone loose. Uh, definitely thought he was dead. Did not think he was coming back. Usually, you know, I pick up on stuff like that. And uh, I didn't. So that blindsided me. So that was well done. I thought it was the prisoners. And then when they were just acting that way, I really, I honestly had absolutely no idea who it possibly could have been. And I felt like an idiot when it ended up being uh, the guy from a few episodes ago. Uh, although it was predictable when, I mean, alright, so the other prisoners shot him. And I guess they're going to become a part of our group. Which makes sense since we lost two members of our group. And uh, the chaos of everything was just really, really well done. The strobe light effect that was at one point in the prison. It, um, yeah, it was just all just, you know, well done. Herschel having to, you know, knock people away with his, cl his uh, crutches. I'm not happy that T-Dog is dead. For the fact that they n have never really given him anything to do. Like, I've been waiting for s a couple of seasons now for Merle to show back up to confront T-Dog. 
because of what happened in the first season. I figured, a, hey, at least when Merle shows back up again, that'll give T-Dog something to do as a character. Instead, uh, he just died. And I know you can sit there and say, like, well, you know, that's the whole shock of the thing. Anyone can go on the show at any time and everything. But, like, usually if a character still has story left, you keep them around. Like, Shane, Shane's character was, was finished, over and done with last season when they killed him off. Even Dale, for the, you know, Dale, they gave him, you know, his episode before they killed him off. You know, they make sure the characters come kind of full circle or something's happened before they go out. It's just what you usually see. And he kind of just went out. Uh, it was sad and I didn't like seeing it, so that's fine, but... I don't know, I guess, um... I just wish, I guess I wish, wish we, they would have waited to wrap everything up with Merle and him first, but oh well. Uh, now, Lori, the thing with Lori, I thought that Lori was going to get killed off this season because, well, anyone that's read the comic book maybe would know why I would think that, or anyone would think that, but I certainly, certainly would not think they would have done what they did now. I thought that would have happened... Uh, I definitely thought she would have had the baby and then got killed in the second half of the season. Instead, she's done by episode four. And yeah, we didn't see Carl shoot her in the head, but... Which basically tells me that we're going to see zombie Lori. You know, if they should have shown Carl, Carl shoot her. Uh, maybe they were just being dramatic and they just didn't want it. They wanted to do it off screen, but I don't know. This is not a show that does much off screen, so. Yeah, I'll be betting we'll be seeing a zombie Lori. I really doubt she's at, that she somehow is alive and survived it because she's just lying there bleeding out. I really doubt that. So. Yeah, pretty sure she's dead. It was a surprisingly, like I said, surprisingly effective scene when. Well, I guess it was surprising that it was effective. It was just kind of caught me off guard they were re they were really about to go there and you know have to do this awful c-section that ugh. and yeah i didn't expect to see that on my television last night that's for damn sure and good work by all the actors especially you know hey carl was great the girl actress who plays laurie was great maggie uh but andrew lincoln at the end of the episode really sold uh the moment just the, his reaction to Laurie being dead was actually like that's something that could be overblown or just too or just I don't know, just not that needed that that could be something that really could be played the wrong way and he played it perfectly I thought and it gave the episode a real like jolt at the end and it's gonna make his character just even more and more dark I, I'm looking forward to seeing what it does to the group I think and I don't know where the prison characters go forward so much now as I guess they have to disperse, get rid of the rest of the zombies they got that, you know, kind of like run amok. But it makes it for an interesting dynamic when the governor and everyone shows up and all that stuff. So, yeah. Crazy episode. Very good. Very strong stuff. They are doing much better than last season. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see where they go from here. This review felt like it was kind of all over the place. Sorry, I would have, you know, I would have been more organized. But, like I said, no editing. And I didn't really take notes. I just kind of winged it. So let me know what you thought. All right, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.